Hey, so I am continuing with our series on mental health. And I need to say once again, it's mental health. You cannot diagnose everything around mental health as depression. There is depression, there's postpartum depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenic, schizophrenia, psychosis. And I realized even in my journey to find the right conversations to ensure that we are having the conversations, the one thing we did not talk about was depression at work. And that's until I saw Nancy's email. Nancy emailed me and the subject was clear, depression at work. Yes. I'm gonna get straight to it. You and I agree that the work is a place we need to talk about because we spend how many hours at work? Eight, nine hours. Eight, nine hours at work. Yes. So literally, a very big portion of our day is, is in the office. Yes. If you're the sort of person who gets in, I don't know, at 7, 7.30, 7 even 8, yes. and leaves at 5, 6, a good portion of your day, actually 80% of your day, is, is at, at work. work. Yes. Yet, if there's one place where depression is not understood or even given importance, it's at work. True. You told me organizations are very great at doing what? They're very great at uh, medical checkups. Yes. We call medical checkups. Mm -hmm. What is your BMI? Mm -hmm. Heart, blood pressure, sure, uh -huh. heart rate, uh -huh. diabetes, they yes. poke the finger. Pap smear, uh -huh. you know, everything. But no, no one asks, are you okay? There's normally when you go, there's that questionnaire you're given yes. just to check your mental state. Yes. How are we doing here? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing. Nothing. And, nothing. and one of the major reasons I'm doing this part of the conversation with Nancy is that I would like to challenge organizations and HR practitioners who have enough on their place to begin looking at this. Yes. Because you told me, and I'm reading your email, it's sitting here for a reason because I'm going to re refer to it, is that you're a hardworking woman. Yes. I am not lazy at all. I'm not lazy. And if, if at work you could see the difference mm -hmm. in Nancy's pattern, uh -huh. Nancy comes early. Yes. Nancy never makes work. Yes. But all of a sudden, she's coming in late. Yes. All of a sudden, the asthma attacks are yes. on the rise. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, she doesn't want to talk to people. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's going on? And I was telling you, and I yes. need to share this, yes. in my career as a manager and as a HOD, there's only twice I've recognized it happening. Yes. And like I was telling you, sadly for me, and people who know me know this, yes. I have a keener eye on my male staff these days than I do on my female staff. I realized women have places to, to talk. Go, yes. So I watch my male staff very keenly because it's that thing where you notice a uh, pattern is off. Yes twice in my career. One was one of my very outgoing radio presenters. And you know, he was caught in a very strange sort of exhibitionism. And you know, get those emails telling yes. you you should fire him, he cannot be like that. And I remember just looking at the picture when it finally landed um, in my inbox and I thought, no, actually something's wrong. Yeah. And I remember asking him, mm -hmm. what's wrong? And it, of course, he came into my office shaking, thinking, yes. oh, I'm, gonna I'm going to get a memo. And I just told him, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. And literally, what was driving him crazy at the time yes. is that he had two women in his life. And I always tell men, by the way, one is enough. <laughs> You've got two. And I say this as a woman, you're finished. <laughs> Handle one. Handle one. Yes. So that was one. The other mm -hmm. um, was very earlier on when I really was, you know, learning how to manage people. Yes. And I remember watching him stay later and later at work. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this was, I've always said, Nduko saved my life. Yes. Because I used to work 12, 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was the hardest working woman in showbiz. Yes. However, I kept thinking, but you're newly married. You have the most stunning wife I've ever seen. Yes. And because obviously I didn't, you, okay, fine. So you are their manager, yes. but I'm also very careful to continue to give the men, men in my life their space yes. even if they report to me yes so i didn't know how to to get to him so i asked another colleague to find out his marriage is falling apart so i'm very clear that it's important to ask that question how, how are, are you? you yes Kunendaji. yes and a, a, a legitimate one eh? a legitimate one yeah and even before sending those warning letters mm -hmm. just understand someone what's going on what's going on mm. Probably this person, you might not, you're not a medic. No. 
you know what I mean? Dick, you cannot no. diagnose and say you're depressed. No. But the moment you ask, you can tell and say to someone, you need to see someone. You need to see someone. You need to see someone. Yeah. And during that period, because uh, depression does not, you don't get well within a week or two or three. No, you don't. You don't. It's not like when you have a cold and we send and you home um, for five days and yes. tell you bring a sick, a sick note. Sick, yes. Actually, I don't even know how HR practitioners mm -hmm. around this country or this continent that has never known how to deal with depression would start. I don't know. What, looking at your own situation, yes. what do you wish HR knew? What do you wish your direct, you know, boss understood? Because we can't fix it here, but we can open that door. You know the one that nobody wants to open? Yes. We open that door and say, Angalien Indani. Yes. Mm. Apart from asking, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. what, what do you need? Yeah. What do you need? How can we be of help to you? And there's this thing of, you don't check up on colleagues. I don't know. Yes, they're not our friends. Yes. But it means a lot. You don't know how much it means to me when I see a colleague calling mm -hmm. to ask, how are things? How are things? How are things? Because when it, the colleagues only come in when a letter is thrown at you, mm -hmm. even if you're in the wrong, because business, the business is in to make money. Mm. So if you're not productive enough, they no. have to ask. <laughs> they have to ask, They have actually. to ask, yes. And you know, we pay lip service to this thing. We say that our staff are our biggest asset. Yes. But actually, mm -mm. Mm -mm. we don't understand their mental state yes. de determines if they are actually viable. viable. And if they are not, yes. uh, but there's something very interesting you said here. I have to read this. I'm so good at my work. I would go the whole night out and still report to work on time and give my all. Yes. We shared a compound with a bar, so any time I felt my energy levels going down, mm -hmm. I'd go for a shot and be back smiling from ear to ear. Mm -hmm. I was transferred to a different branch and started getting asthma attacks, but that was your anxiety. Yes. Ebu, tell me. So before I was in a different branch, uh -huh. and I think, like I was telling you, uh -huh. I have this thing of putting my pain at the back. Yes. And I discovered alcohol. <laughs> it Here masks. It masks. And all of a sudden, once I take my whiskey, mm -hmm. I'm the life of the party. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You're a part of WWW, women yeah. who drink whiskey. Yes. <laughs> Proudly. Uh -huh. Life of the party. Uh -huh. And no one would say something is wrong with Nancy. No, of course mm -mm 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 -mm. not. Mm -hmm. So after I was transferred to a different branch, they... I think it was so busy, I couldn't get drink as much. Uh -huh. And then now the asthma attacks, the anxiety, the anxiety uh -huh. started kicking in. So I couldn't also drink at, as at work. at work. I couldn't drink as much. So I had to face my demons. But I didn't know how to face my demons. But you were saying, yes. even as you approach the gate of the office, yes. your heart rate? Yes. Really? Yes. I, we have two gates. Mm -hmm. to work. Uh -huh. So I try this gate. No, it no. is not working. So you try to go? To the other one. Uh -uh. It is not working. Same and, thing. And anxiety is bad, Caroline. Like you feel your stomach. I need a toilet. <laughs> it is bad. Really? Yes. It is bad. And you even start crying. And nobody knows why. Mm -hmm. you nini. Nini, nini. Nini. And you know Nairobians, they uh, let's go. Looking. <laughs> you know yes mm. and yet mm -hmm. at the office your boss HR yes nobody can pick it up nobody because they can. don't know how to they don't know how to they don't know how to I would say my boss tried to talk to me mm -hmm. once or twice mm -hmm. like what is wrong he at that she. time, uh, she, I didn't know. I didn't know myself. Yeah, you I'm don't know what it through. is. Yes. Yeah. I'm just the energy levels at town. Niko, Nasia. Yes, uh, Toto, the visits to the hospital, mm. the sleepless nights. And you know what they say, mm. be strong. You are a woman. Can you hold that thought? When we come back, no, I'm sure you're sitting there saying, ameongea <laughs> yetu yote. And this is why I'm doing this series of conversations. But the reason I want us to take a break and come back is that I want us to talk about now depression, yes. your children, yeah. and this superwoman thing. Yes. If I do nothing else on this platform, mm -hmm. I need to kill that thing. You're a woman. It Be strong. strong. Yes. Meanwhile, you're carrying everything and everybody, plus the palpitations as you approach the office. Yes. 
subscribe and come back and share this video with a friend. Her name is Nancy and I'm telling you, her email was brilliant. She said depression at work and I said right there, the one I was looking for because we spent between eight, nine, ten hours at work. So there's a place where we need to be available to people. It is at the workplace. And if you agree with me, you can just comment hallelujah. Subscribe, come back.